what's going on guys i know i know it's been a while it's been a while guys but you guys should already know what's been going on with the channel the google drive was down so i wasn't uploading as much as i used to and i just came up with a way to actually do it but then now my google drive is back up so i can upload to the google drive again so that's why you haven't really been seeing these over the past couple of weeks or so i think it's been a couple of weeks i don't think it's been a couple of weeks maybe a week and a half but and also you know all the personal stuff that i've been dealing with um over um for last week <clears throat> and now that i'm back i'm back on the grind again with these reactions so expect reactions to be scared at back to normal i should say but anyways man and even right now i'm slowly getting a headache right now <laughs> slowly getting a headache but i'm gonna grind these reactions out regardless of that because i you, you know i get all the time in the world to rest after okay so full metal alchemist brotherhood last episode we kind of learned the backstory of um alphonse <laughs> alphonse and I can't remember the um, other dude's name. Edward. Edward. <laughs> Edward Elric and Alphonse. See, that's how long I haven't watched the damn anime. I think it's been two weeks since I've uploaded, f when I uploaded the first two. But anyways, guys, we're going to jump in. We're not going to waste any more time. It's the backstory that we saw last time. And he, and he got his, we saw how he got into the military, why he got into the military. So now we, they're traveling to this new city. So they decided to show us that backstory. And it's very interesting. It's a very interesting backstory to see them. And they're still... They, um, right now he's on a journey to find the Philosopher's Stone, it seems like. So that way he can kind of find... Get his brother's body back or something, or something like that. So I think that's what he's looking for. He's looking for the Philosopher's Stone, right? So... I mean, they encountered um, an alchemist that was using uh, a philosopher's sword. that used up all the energy or something. I think that's what happened in episode one with the um, the ice dude. What do they call him? The Mr. Freeze? <laughs> I'm trying to remember this stuff as much as I can. But anyway, we're going to jump into the episode. So you already know, I'm not trying to put Full Metal Alchemist on youtube guys let's jump into this reaction and see how they continue this story um i'm hyped hope you are too i'll see you guys for the review all right so episodes three and four full metal alchemist brotherhood man and I have to say, man, this anime, and this is what I'm saying, you know, I just reacted to Demon Slayer, um, you know, I'm five episodes into Demon Slayer, man, and the difference, you know, I talked about it in the review where I say that you can, exp anime, you go in and by, by episode, by five episodes in, you should know what kind of anime you're watching. For example, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. This is not necessarily an anime about action. You get what I'm saying? It's about philosophies. It's about, you know what I'm saying? You, you have the religious a aspect. You, you, you're talking about the value of a life. The equivalent exchange. That whole thing that comes in. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure it's not the first time we've heard, up, heard about alchemy. They're just putting their own spin on it. You know, what if? You know what I'm saying? You could have these people with the using alchemy as a superpower, you know. So I'm digging that aspect, but also I'm paying attention, you know. And four episodes in, I can see that this is more on philosoph philosophical level where, um, where you can really um, grasp a certain concept for yourself or to agree or to disagree to tickle your fancy you know what i'm saying to you know to kind of 
help you to to explore a little bit more go deeper into f to understanding or to not understand really the value of a life you know what i'm saying because some people is going to say you know you're going to have those people who are, are going to say oh they don't really understand what it is are you going to have those people who do not understand what it is some people are have going to have their beliefs some people are going to believe that you know what I'm saying? Um, you, if you are not serving God, you deserve to die. Kind of like if you're not serving my God, you deserve to die. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he just literally killed two at the end of the episode. This dude that's going around killing the state alchemist. <coughs> Sorry about that. Right? Literally going around killing people and saying, you know, those who turn their backs on God deserve to perish. Right? Which is, you know, all life is precious, no matter what they believe in. So, and and there, there I go again, that's my belief. You know, I think everybody should believe that because your life is just as precious as the person next to you, no matter what your belief system is or what you believe in. You get what I'm saying? My belief differ from a lot of people that I'm very close friends with. Um, you know what I'm saying? And I don't treat them any different than anybody else. We just don't share the same beliefs, you know? So that's all that is. I'm not going to, to tell you, oh, you're a bum. You're an idiot because you don't believe in this. Yeah, we might have an argument. We might debate, but at the end of the day, I don't believe that my life is valued more over yours because that's just what it is. That's just what it is. We all have life. We all or we all come up with this with with you know, we all are born with the same um makeup, we, two arms, you know what I'm saying? Um we're not talking about deformities, you know, um but a head, two eyes, a nose, a mouth, two arms, two legs, a butt, a, a genit genital area. We, we all are born with it. So, you know what I'm saying? For me to value, say my life is worth more than yours is very presumptuous and rude and very disgusting for people to think that they're better than other people or their life is more valuable than other people. You don't know what that person's future might be because some people might say, oh, but, you know, he's on track to become, you know, a doctor. What are you? You know, you know, people are very disgusting when it comes on to stuff like this and their belief system. But I still don't believe that my life or I'm better than you. You get what I'm saying? I believe that there are people who, who are characteristically different, you know, characteristically different. But that doesn't mean that my life and my living and how many years I have left on this earth is worth more than how many you got left. You might die tomorrow. I might die tomorrow. You get what I'm saying? That doesn't make your life more valuable than me if you're going to live to see next week and I'm not. Still doesn't, right? So I'm getting that concept, you know, of seeing or understanding of trying to devise for yourself what is the value of a life. You know, what would you give up for a life? And these boys... Edward and Alphonse, you know, thought they knew what the makeup of a human is. I don't believe in that. Th that ingredients is, that's maybe a scientific thing, but I think there's way more to the human, to humans than some ingredients of salt and pepper. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, you know, I really do believe that there's more to it than that. You know, um, if it was just that, people would be creating humans without alchemy. You know what I'm saying? So if, if you know what makeup of the human body is and what makes it up, how do you create a heart? How do you create the inner organ, the organs? You get what I'm saying? Like people think, you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you create these things? How do you duplicate that? You know? So that's the thing, man. It's just so amazing to me, the makeup of the human body. So I'm here to tell you guys that um, 
I'm loving this anime, man. Four episodes in, and I am sold to the fact that this is going to... We, we're we're going to have a lot of discussions around this anime. It's not just about... I'm, gl I'm glad that it's not just about fighting because there's so much more to this anime. So much more lessons to learn. Did not trust that guy. Didn't know what he was up to, but there was just something very creepy about his demeanor when he was on screen. And he decided to, tra to basically... Put the dog and the daughter together. I didn't even I didn't even see that coming because I was like, "What is he going to do?" In my in the back of my mind, I'm thinking like, "What is he going to do?" Because I know he's going to do something. I had a bad vibe about him, and I didn't even think that this is something that he would try because I thought that all the state alchemists know that human. The human transportation thing just doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? It just, it just doesn't work. Um, but I guess you can bind human and animals together. That's a new one. I guess when they're still alive. So that's just crazy to me that he would choose to, to stay a alchemist. Oh, I got to grow. I got to be a scientist. So I'm going to sacrifice my daughter. My daughter. Forget about the animal you get what i'm saying forget about the animal right i want to sacrifice my daughter right forget about the animals because their lifespan is 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 not as great people experiment on animals all the time it's not i don't think it's bad to experiment on animals a lot of people think a lot of people um a lot of the things that we know today and a lot of people might disagree with me on this and as i said there's a lot of things that when it comes on to philosophies and all this other stuff that i think people are very naive about especially when it comes when it comes to animals and stuff like that i do believe that animals you know can be experimented on i do believe in that i believe that you know what I'm saying? Whether it be mice, you know what I'm saying? Whether it be, you know, whether it be pigs, whether it be whatever it is that we need to do to get these um, inventions and stuff like that. As long as there's not, you know, people experiment, even though we experiment on humans too, you know, clinical drug trials and stuff like that. Um, for the, the, the things that we need for medical help and for medical advancement and for stuff to be better, experiments have to be done. And I think it's better to experiment on animals than humans. It needs to be done. And if we're going to have medical advancement, you know, a lot of people might say, oh, we should just die naturally. But yeah, the lifespan of a human would be way lower. The life expectancy would be way lower if it wasn't for medical advancement. So what what exactly do you believe in? You get what I'm saying? Like a lot of these people out here that don't think their kids need vaccination. We're living in a different time. This is not before when these diseases weren't going around before people would die of very simple things getting a little cut and they don't know what to do they don't know you get what i'm saying like there's a lot of herbal things that we used to do back home that that i see people practicing now that i'm like oh we've been doing that you get what i'm saying like a lot of people they didn't know that coconut coconut water was so good for your body you get what i'm saying so I mean, coconut water is one of those things that is very good for diabetics. So there's a lot of stuff that naturally that we can do to upkeep our body. But there's also like I would never come up and have and have kids and be like, oh, I'm not going to let them get vaccinated because I think that is so dumb in this time that we live in. I think that is very dumb that people are actually choosing to not vaccinate their child and they could just die from measles. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So it's just it's just certain things that that I'm going to grasp very well from this anime and just just think about it, guys. Just think about it. But it's up to you guys if you you know, you could agree to disagree with me when it comes on to certain things, but those are just my opinion. 
you can have your opinion too down in the comment section just make sure you hit that like button too i'm always for open conversation and having these conversations with y'all because every not everybody has the same opinions about everything you know what i'm saying um i'm not a yes man hope you guys are not a yes man just agree with everything that everybody says you know what i'm saying hope you have your own views on things and you're welcome to put that in the comment section over here make sure you subscribe if you're new or go back and check out the previous three episodes that we did over here on the channel thank you guys so much for, ch for checking in and to watching this with me watching my reaction hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day whenever time you're watching this i thank you guys so much have a good one terabyte reacts out peace